Closing arguments to begin in manslaughter trial of officers who arrested Elijah McLean, closing arguments are set to take place Tuesday in the trial of the two Aurora, Colorado, police officers who arrested Elijah McLean, an unarmed 23-year-old black man who died after he was subdued by police and injected with ketamine by paramedics in 2019. Randy Roedema and Jason Rosenblatt have pleaded not guilty to charges of reckless manslaughter, criminally negligent homicide and assault causing serious bodily injury in connection with McLean's death, Rosenblatt was fired by the police department in 2020 and Roedema remained suspended, Roedema and Rosenblatt's joint trial began last month and featured testimony from Aurora law enforcement officers who responded to the scene as well as from doctors who analyzed how McLean died. The defense did not call any witnesses, the case stems from the events of August 24, 2019, when officers responded to a call about a suspicious person wearing a ski mask, according to the indictment. The officers confronted McLean, a massage therapist, musician and animal lover who was walking home from a convenience store carrying a plastic bag with iced tea, in an interaction captured on body camera footage, police wrestled McLean to the ground and placed him in a carotid hold, and paramedics later injected him with the powerful sedative ketamine. He suffered a heart attack on the way to the hospital and was pronounced dead three days later, prosecutors initially declined to bring charges. But the case received renewed scrutiny following the nationwide Black Lives Matter protests in spring 2020. Colorado Governor Jared Polis appointed a special prosecutor